Alright everybody, what's up? This is Jay Bird with the third vlog. Got a few topics today. Uh, user submitted topic and this is what was given to me. They want to know my take on sexuality, vulgarity, violence, and entertainment. Is it necessary? Is it too much? Is it not a big deal? Also, uh, another topic. What inspires me when I write a verse or a song? And uh, third topic is... Uh, is it important that young people know about politics and world issues? Why or why not? So uh, you can thank Jordan Colson for those submissions. And uh, here we go. Let's talk about the first topic. Entertainment. Sexuality, vulgarity, and violence. Um, I feel that there's a time and place for everything. You know, uh, a lot of entertainers nowadays... Uh, kind of twist what they feel like uh, should be played on the radio, should be shown on TV, and should be uh, incorporated in their performance. Um, as far as entertainment goes, I feel that people should mention if their material is going to be, you know, explicit. You know, anybody at of any age could have turned on the Video Music Awards and seen just that bizarre... You know what I'm talking about. So... As far as that goes in entertainment, I believe that, yes, there's a time and place for it all, and uh, we should have a fair warning, you know, I don't want my kids to get on and watch TV and just flip through channels and be like, oh, daddy, who is who is that girl dancing on that guy, or why, you know, what are they talking about, you know, so, um, you know, the VMAs ended up being a big Halloween party promoting sex and drugs, I mean, come on. It was horrible. I mean, everybody was dressed in bizarre and crazy outfits. And I think everybody just, I don't know, they must have shopped at a party store and just, you know, went for it. But I, I feel like it's, nowadays it's just, it's sick, man. The way the way our our, uh, our youth can just pick up on things. And even on the radio, you know, uh, commercial music, uh, mainstream music. It's just so, you know, influential on young people and the message that we're getting across is just horrible. So as far as entertainment goes, uh I don't feel that it's okay. I don't feel like it's not a big deal. I seriously feel like something should be done about it. So that's my two cents. Um, you know, companies are raking in profit. You know, people choose to promote sex outside of marriage and drug use. It's it's really sick, you know. And uh yeah, I think uh, national TV networks, honestly, I think they should channel uh, what they what they allow on their network. And if it's going to be something that's for a mature audience, I think that the audience should somehow through their TV network or, excuse me, through their cable provider or some way uh, verify that, you know, I am an adult and I'm going to view this so, so that we can somehow protect the youth from being corrupted. It's, it's sick. Moving on, very quick. Uh, is it important for young people to know about politics and world issues? Yes. <laughs> I can honestly say uh, history, geography, all of that. I hated it. It got on my nerves. I didn't care. Current events, I didn't care. It was boring to me. You know, I, I didn't, I just didn't value it at all. But uh, I feel that each individual of any age should educate themselves. What goes on in our country and with our government directly affects each person one way or another, whether it be taxes, gas prices, school dress codes, uh, the war with Syria. Um, there's a cup of coffee for everybody's liking, so uh, it, it's definitely important. Uh, I feel that it's important that young people are taught the right way without lies or any cover-ups about what's going on in the real world. Uh, it's very important that... Uh, our youth is taught, you know, this is what's going on. I'm not going to hide nothing from you. I'm not going to cover it up and make it seem like it's okay. You know, 9-11 hit. I was in uh, second grade. I remember my, my parents, well, my mom, she tried to tell me, you know, what happened, you know, how it happened and why it happened. You know, and I was thankful that I, I had that information and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't brought to me and approached as, uh, oh, it'll be okay when it was a, a serious event. You know, our youth is in the real world, and it's not right to hide it from them. Uh, we can choose to protect them, but no matter how far you push something down, it will in time come to surface. So keep that in mind if you've ever uh, tried to sugarcoat something for your kids or anybody uh, 
anybody that's uh, younger and wondering about what's going on. It's very important that young people know what's seriously going on in the world and in their country, you know. Young people could come together and make a difference. You know, every every generation grows and gets old and gets tired of it and sits still. And it's the young people that have all that energy to, to make a change. So that's just my two cents. Uh, moving on. What inspires me when I'm writing a verse or a song? Personally, I'm inspired by feelings and emotions. Uh, that's God honest truth. I enjoy creating stories and situations that the human heart can relate to. Something that make you happy, something that can make you sad, something that can make you hate something and love something. I find an interest in writing material that all people can relate to. And an example would be a song about a broken heart. You know, if you've ever been in love, if you've ever trusted someone and uh, things go downhill, you feel hurt and you feel pain, you feel sorrow. You know, I, I personally like to write and create songs and stories that that can touch on that and have people be like, yeah, you know, I, I feel you, I understand that. And uh, another example, maybe I write a song about determination. You know, I'm giving you hope, I'm uh, encouraging you to push forward and to, you know, to hold on. Uh, another example, a song about, you know, reality, you know, along with determination, you know, life isn't easy and situations don't always come across, you know, this is how you do it and we're going to get it done, you know, um, things can become tough and uh, I personally would encourage you to trust God and uh, remain humble and get your knowledge up about what the Bible says about, you know, what does God say about about this situation and how to handle this situation, how am I going to go through this without totally malfunctioning, you know. Uh, when I write music, I uh, I like to come up with something new and creative. I don't want to mock something that somebody else has already done or something someone else has already said. I like to come up with original, uh, original lyrics and, um, you know, just bring something new to the table and, like I said, that people can relate to. So, that's me. You know, that's just the views of the bird. Um... Wrapping it up, first topic we talked about, sexuality, vulgarity, cuss words, and violence and entertainment. It's sad that entertainment has become what it has become, and uh, that those things are even what uh, big big money companies feel are marketable. It's, it's really sad that that's where our world is at. I don't feel like it's okay. Um, I personally don't include those in my music and you know what I what I uh, make available for my viewers. Um, the idea of entertainment is just it's way out of this ballpark. It's it's, it's self-explanatory. Y'all know y'all feel me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Politics and world issues for our young people. Yes, if you have children, educate your children. Watch the news with your children. Let them know what's going on in our world. Let them know about the government, their president. Let them know about their school dress code, why it should be what it is, why it shouldn't be. Just educate. Just educate your children. Come on now. Inspirations when I'm writing verses or songs. I'm inspired by anything you can feel in your heart. Emotions, feelings. That's what I enjoy. Whether it's a uh, club anthem, whether it's a sad song, whether it's a song about, you know, setting goals and making it happen. I'm all about it. So, yep, wrapping it up. This is Jay Bird with the third vlog. Shout out to Jordan Coulson for the user submission. Um, You can check him out on Facebook. You type in Jordan Michael Coulson. He's on there. He will also be promoting Vegas Fuel and Out of Your Mind uh, Fitness. So check those things out. Vegas Fuel Energy Drink is the best that you've never had if you've never had it. And if you have had it, it's the best that you have had. So I hope you caught that. Um, out of Your Mind Fitness. Just look it up. This is Jay Bird.